Instead, £2 billion, £2 billion of public contracts have been awarded to companies with close links to the Conservative Party. Now, we're, we're led to believe that this is all one massive, co it's a massive coincidence that they got those contracts. How did it happen? Who knows? The government, they're taking the public for fools. Taxpayers deserve that their money is used to best effect, not squandered on contracts that don't deliver, or line the pockets of friends and donors of the Conservative Party. The government says, the government says it wants value for money, but it has failed to claw back the millions wasted on contracts that didn't deliver for the NHS and didn't deliver for taxpayers either. I give way to the Honourable Gentleman. Uh, very grateful. Uh, she talked about um, people with connections to the Conservative Party trying to get their favourite contracts at the front of the queue. Does she remember emailing me in the Cabinet Office to ask for one of her contractors, one of her constituency companies, to get the head of the queue for exactly the same purpose? Oh. <laughs> The job of a constituency MP, as the Honourable Gentleman, who is a good constituency MP himself, knows that our job is to look out for our constituents. But I wasn't pocketing the money. I wasn't giving donors. I wasn't giving donors of my party contracts. I wasn't giving my local pub landlord a contract. Now maybe, maybe our local pub landlords are really good at delivering contracts to the NHS, even though they've got no track records. Or maybe because he was a mate of a Conservative Party cabinet minister. Madam Deputy. Point of order, Kevin Hollingray. Yeah, yeah. The Honourable Lady is seemingly accused um, members of this House yeah. in pocketing money, yeah. personally yeah. pocketing yeah. money. Yeah. Will yeah. you ask yeah. to, yeah. Could you ask yeah. to explain exactly what evidence she has yeah. with that, that regard? Yeah. 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 Well, that's not really a point of order. This is part of the debate. I don't want the debate to be become descending into points of order. I'm sure if the uh, Shadow Chancellor of the Exchequer feels that she needs to say anything further in response to the order, she will do. In pounds worth of contracts to friends and donors of the Conservative Party. I'll leave it as that and let the record speak for itself.